How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going back to an old community questions post that we did, talking about things that the community found the most difficult to learn in RuneScape 3. The reason we are revisiting this post is because you guys left a hell of a lot of comments. There was like 80 or 90 comments on this post and honestly, in the last video I think we covered about 9, maybe 9, something like that. Not too many, so there's a lot of stuff in here that could still be super useful for other people and you guys seem to enjoy the last video, so it makes sense to go back take a look at some other ones that we didn't touch upon and see if we can find some that aren't similar so it can provide more value to other people as well. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Other than that, let's see what you guys found the most difficult things to learn in RuneScape 3 and see if we can give a little bit of a solution. Let's go. So our first comment says, the hardest thing for me was learning to multitask in full manual. When I was learning, I would spam my eating keys and stand there auto attacking until I was healthy. This is, this is actually not like too unfamiliar for myself. Honestly, I used to do the same when I first started full manual. I would be focusing on other things too much and I would just be stood there waiting for things to happen while my character just auto attacking, sending out like random air surges or something like that. I don't know. It was, it was definitely a more difficult thing to learn. However, it is absolutely worth learning full manual if you are willing to do so. If you're not willing to do so, like if you think, oh, I'm not going to enjoy that, it's not for me, then just don't do it, obviously. You can get away without it. You don't need to learn it. But if you are like looking to learn it and you've decided, right, I'm going to try it, but you feel like you're struggling with it, don't, don't stress too much. Trust me, it will come with time. Start off places like at the dummies and stuff, and then start off at like Vindicta. Move your way back up the PVM ladder, so Vindicta, then Hellware, and then go to like Araxor, then next, and just move your way up and just, just take your time. Art Glacier as well. In fact, the Dark place or will probably be one of the best places to practice full manual at so maybe give that a try but honestly the main thing is just gonna be making sure your keybinds are in a place that makes sense to you and are comfortable for you to reach and then from there on it's just gonna be practice it'll take some time but for the people in the same situation as this you'll definitely get there the next comment says keeping track of everything on the screen overload health adrenaline prayer ability cooldowns all while trying to watch for mechanics and prayer flicks. I unlocked tier 95 prayers, but refused to use them since they drain my prayer too fast, giving me more to worry about. <laughs> so this comment does actually kind of paint a good picture of how busy PVM is in RuneScape. So there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to be paying attention to. And like he says, keeping track of everything on the screen, being like all the things mentioned, but there's so much more as well. Like he mentions while trying to watch mechanics and prayer flicks and stuff. And that's part of it too. Like you're constantly checking that stuff. And then when you throw in things like four ticking or magic or when you need to be stood in a specific place or like a certain location and positioning is really important there's a hell of a lot to pay attention to and there's definitely more as well but there are actually some things you can do to help reduce these things that you need to manage and just sort of bring them down a little bit there's still gonna be a lot to think about but you can definitely help reduce it a little bit so you said that you unlock the tier 95 prayers but you didn't really use them because it drained your prayer too fast i imagine that you mean by this is your your prayer was dropping through fights and you, you were getting stressed out by it, like oh, i just gotta constantly watch my prayer as well and there's something else so so what you can do is, especially now, you could use like the, the penance powders. The penance powders will help keep that up, as when you do take damage, it will actually increase your prayer points. But also, you can use the prayer renewal potions, the super prayer renewals, which I'm assuming you probably did use. But for anyone who hasn't, you can use those as well, which will reduce the drain rate of your actual prayer points too. So you do kind of give yourself a longer time between having to check your actual prayer points. And then you could use incense sticks in longer fights. So if you were doing a boss fight that was about five to six minutes long, and you had to keep using your overload again and you're worried that it's going to run out you could use incense sticks to help boost the overload timer over seven minutes and that way you get that longer time to actually pay attention to it and once you've drunk that dose at the beginning of the fight you likely won't need to worry about it again until you bank and then you can just reset that whole thing so that sort of thing helps as well and then of course a lot of the other stuff is going to be coming from basically just practice and experience and you will get there just keep trying with it and trust me the more you do it the more it becomes second nature and then eventually you'll be drinking those prayer potions without even thinking about it like if you do a thousand next kills you know by ice phase you need to start drinking prayer potions because your prayer is going to have dropped so you kind of get in a rhythm of it and you know when it's going to drop so you just automatically press that button the next comment comes from Ardichi, maybe i've been trying to learn better dps and thought i did a good job but then i watched advanced pvm guides for bosses and feel like i'd never be able to do what they do i can kill rasher in five minutes for example and they do it in 230 with melee okay so with this one first of all it sounds like for these advanced boss guys that you're watching you're you're watching like either i don't know evil lucario doing rapture and getting 230 kills or you're watching like the rs guy blast through some kills in some pl certain places or like base tank or something like someone who has ridiculously good 
experience in PVM. Now, the thing with this is, they have um, ridiculously good experience in PVM. You said you've been trying to learn better DPS, right? So you're trying to learn, you're learning. Don't put yourself in the same shoes as them. They are not learning anymore. They are pushing themselves on getting better personal records and just being faster and just like they're still learning tiny little things but they're not learning the sort of things that you're learning you're learning the basics you're learning getting into bossing you're learning how to push your dps a little bit better and getting a good foundation right you're trying to figure out what what to do and you get new bosses likely those people have done a thousand kills two thousand kills at these bosses and they are flying through the kills because they know it inside out they know how the ticks work each and every single tick they will know what they're doing they have it all planned out they have done the kill so many times they know what works best and at that point they're probably just waiting for crits to actually land more more often than the last time so they can beat their personal record by one second so there's a big difference you can't compare yourself as a learner to the people who are blasting out these bosses in two and a half minutes because someone who's learning the boss having to deal with mechanics that they are not used to yet and having to figure out what works best and then also someone who is trying to improve their dps and get better at dps it's just not going to be on the same page whatsoever so absolutely do not feel like you're never going to be able to do what they do because honestly if you put the practice in there's a good chance you would be able to do that but you'll have to put in like so much practice these guys play this a lot they do the bosses a lot. They are ridiculously good at PVM because they've done it a hell of a lot. Obviously, personal skill still comes into it. Those players are still ridiculously good at the game anyway. But when they started their PVM journey, they wouldn't have been in the same position as they are now. They've had to learn stuff, improve stuff, figure stuff out. So just sort of think of it like you're sort of at the beginning of that as well. And yes, you may never reach to a 230 Rakshaw kill. But that doesn't mean you can't get a sub three minutes, like a 259 or something like that. You will absolutely push yourself and improve. Just keep at it. The next comment says, just learning to concentrate for a full hour of bossing. My job requires unwavering concentration for 10 hours straight. And I think it's screwing with my brain. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people are going to be like this. They're not going to be able to go to a boss and sit there for the full hour and be like, Ugh, you know what, I'm, I'm 30, 40 minutes in and I just cannot be bothered doing another uh, glacial kill. But there's an idea that I did recently that may be able to help you with this. And that is, if you cannot do a full hour of bossing, you get bored by the time you're halfway through, 20 minutes in, or you just change your mind and go, no, nah, I'm not feeling that. Then maybe it's time to try a new way to PVM. And that is a video that I did recently where I just basically set up an aura for a full hour and sacked off the idea that you use that aura at the same boss for a full hour. You don't have to do a full hour of the same boss. You don't have to do an hour of Rakshaw and then an hour of ED3, then an hour of Karapak. You can absolutely do three kills at Raksha, then swap to Karapak pack and do three kills there or do one kill and then if you're not feeling it just swap to another boss if you are using a combat style that can work in many places which most of them can work in most places anyway you just can't use like magic at next for example in an efficient way but if you're using magic and you have the maniacal aura active for an hour you could absolutely just do care pack for a few kills do ratchet for a few kills go to the art glaze or do a couple of kills do the ambassador for one kill like you don't have to stick to that one boss for a full hour so maybe give this a shot because this could help you out on your focus if you're if you're on focus maybe it's because you're bored maybe that's what it is if you aren't enjoying a boss at for a full hour give up on it change to something else do something you think you'll enjoy and just just mix it up keeping the change of scenery around can definitely be something that is helpful i found that couple of hours that i did this for on stream like a hell of a lot of fun it was so fun i didn't get bored at all so I recommend some people try this out if you find that you struggle to just sit down and do a full hour of a boss just because you have an aura active. Anyone that does try this, let me know in the comments. Has it improved anything? Has it helped? I'd be interested in finding out about this. Our next comment says, The hardest thing for me was to not be afraid to spend money. This is probably one I see quite often. People are terrified to spend their big cash tag because they've just earned it. This is especially people who have never had a ton of money before. They get a big drop. They're like, oh my God, I've just got a great ricochet, 1.6 mil. I'm going to spend like 300 mil of it and then hang on to the rest just in case. Why? Why are you hanging on to the rest? What do you mean just in case? Just in case what? Freaking spend it. <laughs> Upgrade your gear. If you're someone who's just got your big first drop and big first drop first big drop maybe if you've just got your first big drop and you've just made a ton of money and you've just doubled your bank tripled your bank whatever it is upgrade your gear upgrade whatever you want to upgrade if you're working on pvm then you should focus on doing your pvm stuff if you normally do skilling and you were just happening to do a bit of pvm with a friend then invest it in your skills and stuff spend that money and improve your account there's a reason that you should do that and it's because if you do upgrade gear you'll get faster kills easier kills less stress in the future and also when you upgrade your gear things like your armor and stuff like that or getting more dps you end up actually spending less gp normally unless you 
buy a staff of armadillo in which case you end up spending more and it just drains your freaking money pouch and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a different video maybe but normally if you do upgrade your gear you increase your dps you go from what a tier 85 weapon up to tier 92s or maybe like even a tier 95 that's not a staff of armadillo you normally do more damage meaning that you will end up getting faster kills making more money per hour but also if you are taking less damage because you've got better armor or you're killing the boss quicker meaning you're using less food because there's less time for the boss to attack you then you end up saving money on food as well but the main reason you want to upgrade stuff is purely for that extra convenience you get faster kill times you make more money it's more convenient for you when you're in the fight it's less stressful and it's, it's absolutely fine to do this you should invest your money in your character progress your character and the money will find you again you don't have to worry that if you spend your one bill that you're never going to have one bill again because if you do spend it on the right things you'll end up using that money that you spent to make more money so trust me this is a good thing to do spend your money upgrade your stuff invest in your account invest in levels invest in gear invest in upgrades unless you really really just wanted that golden pie hat and you had to buy one then you know what treat yourself it's your money do what you want with it but honestly spending money on upgrades absolutely worth it all right, so our very last comment is kind of similar to the fourth comment that we did. I think it was the fourth, but it has a different slight focus, but I feel like it's going to be important to mention, and I kind of will try and lean a different way with it. We'll try. We'll see what happens. But this comment says, PVM. Honestly, seeing all these people solo like Telos and Hard Mode, whatever the new boss is, I can't spell the name. I assume this was, this was like two months ago, so I'm thinking Zuck probably. And seeing them get like 30 second kills on Vindicta, I try to do that and I end up dying a crap ton and get discouraged and quit for many months at a time. Okay, so first off, this is obviously going to be very similar to the last one in the way that the people that you're watching, people streaming it, the people doing YouTube on it, they're making those videos on it because one, they are good at it they can do it they, they, they want to show it they can do it and they want to be the people they want to racing for it right they're racing for the first kill at zuck or the only reason you would go to vindicta to get a 30 second kill is to try and get a 30 second kill at vindicta they're not going to vindicta because they really want to just farm the living crap out of it and everything they're going to be banking almost every kill probably to get max adrenaline doing whatever they can to get the fastest kill time possible on that boss these players are the same players we talked about before that are just really good at pvm because they've done a lot they've put a lot of time into it a lot of practice into it they've invested like billions and billions in gear on it and honestly it's just the way it is that these guys have put a lot of time in they've worked on it and they've improved now if you are trying to do the same sort of things and you get discouraged and quit for many months at a time i'm gonna say you're probably a learner <laughs> and it goes the same way as the last thing you just need to put the time in and practice but to bring this comment away from the other one that we sort of talked about, that's all done now. Like, you you know that these guys have done a hell of a lot of time. And if you haven't done that, then that's where the difference is. So don't compare yourself to that person. Compete with yourself and just sort of just try and improve yourself slowly over time. You'll get there. However, if you are not considering yourself a learner, if you think that you've been doing this for a while and you just don't seem to be improving, I can almost guarantee there'll be some things that you can improve on just by having someone else see what you are doing. Now, I don't mean this in a way of saying that you are bad at the game and you just need someone to tell you that you're rubbish and you need someone to say, yeah, you just need to do this. You're just missing out on this and that. What I am saying is, honestly, a lot of people are in the same situation. They think I'm hitting a wall. I'm hit, literally hitting a wall here. I'm doing the same as everybody else. I am just throwing myself at this boss, not getting anywhere. What the hell's going on? And then they'll take a break or they'll quit. And it's not good because they don't want to quit. They just don't feel like there's any point in playing. I've done quite a few videos not too long in the past where people have sent me their clips of a kill when they're in this situation they feel like they are r running against a wall and they're just not getting anywhere and honestly there's a few things that we can do to help them improve normally those people come back to me about two hours later after the video or after i've sent them all the stuff in discord and go damn just improved my kill time by about a minute or two minutes what the hell there was literally two things that have changed there is usually something that's been missed now i'm not saying you're missing that because you're not paying attention or you're not good enough there's a good chance there's just so much stuff that you need to do for pvm that you're just missing one one or two things so if this person on this comment is still feeling like this as this was an older post or if anybody else is still feeling like the same sort of thing as well feel free to send me a message on discord we can talk about it we can get you to send me a clip i can make a little video on it as well if you want me to or not it doesn't matter if i don't make a video on it i will still try and help you out if that's what you want because i'm happy to try and spend a little bit of time if it helps you guys enjoy the game a bit more so send me a message on discord ask people in your clan if you're missing anything send presets to people and just take another look because good chance is there's something either in your preset or if you're watching a video of the kill there's probably some things that we can just mention oh maybe you should try this or you should try that and you will get there trust me 
it's usually like the first bit where you've just done more practice more time but if there's something that you're just missing then you're going to be throwing yourself at a wall and putting yourself at a disadvantage so maybe give that a consideration all right, guys, that was our last comment, and I hope that you guys found some useful stuff from this. It's always good when people do comment stuff like this because I know that it actually sort of gives a different perspective on things. There's sometimes I'll read a post and I'll think, actually, I've never thought that people might struggle with that because it's not something I personally even do or anything like that, but I can still give a little bit of advice if I understand it a little bit. So it's nice to see what people are actually struggling with rather than me just having to assume. And obviously that way we can directly help people. And if anyone else learns from their same sort of thing then that's great so i'll be continuing to do stuff like this in the future so keep an eye out for the community post where you can get involved and kind of get your own little part of a video as well anyway i appreciate all the comments i appreciate all of you guys watching and thank you all so so much to the channel members that are supporting the channel that bit extra each and every single month you guys are crazy like is it was ridiculous there's so many of you now and it is just bl blows me away all the time if anyone else is interested in joining the channel members you can click the join button by the sub button and your name will appear on screen just like the rest of them have been you also do enjoy a couple of other perks as well anyway thank you all so so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you all in the next one see you later guys